Okay, that puts a bow on chapter 7. In this chapter, we learned how to create specialized markers, and then we started modifying them. We added dedicated icons to our markers to show different smart devices. We integrated the device data, the federated data, into our markers. We added tooltips to show the smart device statuses. And we also added on-click actions for notifications and zooming into the smart device that the marker belongs to. Markers are essential concepts for presenting data on the ISPRIM platform, and there's a lot more that we can do with them. We can dynamically place them, for example, on our model to indicate information. We can cluster the markers together to get a nice summary view of a certain section. We can also make the markers as fancy as we want. For example, in the WinFarm demo that we saw, a single marker is used for creating four different panels that display different types of data coming in from an IoT stream. So there's endless possibilities in the way we can use markers in the iTwin platform. Back to our use case, we have some nice markers. We can see our device data on our model. And the last step is to add some UI components to our application. It's time to wrap up our use case in the next and final chapter of the course.